We are in a Cisco ASA version 9 and I'm going to show you all about allowing the uh, ASA to be managed in the web GUI. So by default if you do a show run you're going to see that the HTTP is enabled even though really it's HTTPS. Uh, it is enabled however it's enabled to only the 192.168.1.0 and the inside interface. So what we want to do is we want to make this available to any subnet internally because our internal subnet is going to be completely different than 192.168.1 and we may change to other internal subnets in the future. So let's go ahead and type the same command. Now we can certainly copy that command. And we'll go ahead and paste it. And we're going to change this to zero space zero. So when we do that, it allows all internal subnets. So if we uh, go ahead and do another show run, we'll see that it now includes every single subnet. So there it is, HTTP server enable. First off, you gotta have that enabled. And if you want it disabled, just type no HTTP server enable. Then you can see that we've got this, the uh, subnets, of course, all subnets open. And then we have the subnets for just the 192.168.1.0. Now, that's redundant at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to type the word no in front of it and then paste it in. And now it's going to be all internal subnets and you don't have to have the confusion of having that other one in there which is uh, now considered redundant so it just says HTTP uh, and then all of them so accessing the GUI is going to be HTTPS followed by the internal IP address of our Cisco ASA and that's going to be in this particular case uh, 192.168.1.1 and you can do that from any web browser, although uh, certain web browsers may be easier to access than others, such as Firefox uh, tends to be a little easier because Java is enabled by default.